Hello everybody, my name is Konrad Schoch. I now present you the results of our project. Form follows recyclability, instruments for dissipation aware product design. I start with the objective and outcome. The project's objective was to discover what criteria educational instruments must fulfill to help designers reduce metal dissipation caused by their design products. The criteria are ultimately aimed at design students. The derived criteria are allocated to a design and content level, as you can see. In terms of design, for example, Attention should be placed on a full and transparent picture, clear guidance and visual language with less text. In terms of content, for example, many different metals should be considered along with their alloys. In addition to metals, other material groups should be included and metal-specific properties should be incorporated. Further explanations can be read in the article. I move on to the research rationale. The project is based on the challenge or risk of metal dissipation, which basically occurs along the whole life cycle of a product. Here we focus on the metal dissipation caused in the end of life phase. The reasons here are an increase in complexity and functionality of products. For example, smartphones can contain up to 60 elements. Low material quantities per device. Fast distribution and short utilization times. In addition, the use of metal combinations that are not compatible with contemporary recycling technology. This is where the two questions arise. First, which metal-specific guidelines must be considered in product design? And second, how to effectively integrate them into design processes? I proceed to the research methodology, which is divided into three steps. The first step is to create a material-specific basis. In this project, we started with five base metals and their alloys because these are usually available to design students in their metal workshops. In a literature review and expert interviews, we were then able to derive appropriate guidelines. For example, the first guideline states that steel and stainless steel should be reversibly bonded with aluminium, copper and brass in every designed product in order to recover the alloying elements. That means to reduce metal dissipation. The other guidelines can be found in the article. In a second step, the usability study was conducted with a total of five design professionals to find out how the potential of the initial prototypes as supporting instruments is assessed in professional practice. In the last step, criteria were derived from the usability study and structured into two dimensions, as already presented at the beginning of this report. That's all for now. Thanks for your attention. Feel free to contact me with any comments or questions.